just again we're just uh testing things out continually for not too long um if anybody is uh watching in the chat just just let us know how it looks um you know we're trying to trying our best to make sure things look as uh, sharp as it can and you know and also testing things with my setup because I'm you know I'm switching my uh, my setup and whatnot but uh, yeah thanks uh, for you know anybody that's kind of like like watching right now or uh, checking we got some out. people watching right now oh that's cool that's yeah. real cool all right I, I wasn't too sure at first Oh yeah, I got the chat going, so I'm looking at chat. Oh, nice. But um, yeah, let me see if I can stretch out the logo, or I should say the splash. Oh, here we go. All right, cool. You should be in there. And I'll, you know, I'll put this little, um, I will call it like a, a splash image in between. Uh, our transitions. I see. Yeah. You know what I mean? Yeah. Okay. Yeah, it's fun to stretch the uh, the pictures and whatever. Whenever yeah. you are. Uh, yeah, you don't yeah. want to look at all with all the uh, the space, open space, the black space and stuff like that. Uh, actually, now that I'm curious, let me check the uh, VO stats. Uh, okay. And if you haven't subscribed to the Dream Castle SNK Twitch, please subscribe because um, we have some some good things on the horizon. Some some really really fun um, shows that we're gonna do, and um, I think a lot of people are gonna like them. And like I mentioned, like I mentioned in the the last show, we've got a new show coming up. We're gonna premiere it on the uh, the seventeenth, right after the Dream Cancel KOF 13 Steam Battle. So that show should be fun. It's, it's going to be off the hinges. Um, oh, I got a lot of links. I saw that. I would say, um, or um, I think if you can post it yourself, then go ahead. Because actually, you're better off this way. You don't want people to be like. Um, it's kind of early, but eventually, once you get more viewers, um, you're gonna expect some people to be trolling and posting some nasty links. So, oh, okay. What, what if you, you keep it off, uh, if anything, uh, I think you should be allowed to, um, or or have the mods only allowed the link. That would be the only uh, other option. Okay, that's a good idea. Yeah. All right. Um. Let me see. Actually, we're... and what I can also do is later on, I'll show you some cool trick with Nightbot um, later on once you get more into it. Oh, okay. What's with that? You know, at, uh, Nightbot's a cool program that allows you to, um, if you need to, like, um, uh, I got to put it this way. Um, it, 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 it moderates uh, stuff easier for you uh, when it comes to moderation. Oh, really? So uh, certain words that you don't want to be heard or certain phrases, um, if someone types it, um, Nightbot will just like just cut it off. Okay, it's it's different. Way, than, it's different than just like setting up banned words, right? Yeah, exactly. Yourself, uh, Nightbot does it for you. You set it up, but then um, you don't have to like constantly overlook it. You can still do. Uh, Twitch can also do it on on that, but you can also uh, Nightbot is like another cool way of doing it. Okay. And um. There, there's a lot of cool features, but um, the cool thing is um, if you need to put promos, then Nightbot will have like a time thing where uh, every 30 minutes it will it will slap on some links on the chat for you. Oh, really? That's the cool thing about it, yeah. Oh, wow. That's what I like about the most. And um, Oh, and song requests, which eh, that's something you'll, you'll do later on. You don't want to mess with that um, early. Oh, song but, requests. Yeah, that's, that's, uh, that's how you use it. Uh, Nightbot allows song requests so that... Um, um, does it, oh yeah, it automatically plays on the uh, thing. So, um, all you gotta do is um have a an extra window, and you're gonna see a list of songs. And so you don't even have to do much on the uh, on on OBS. You don't have to like mess with that. Oh really? Okay. Yeah, any music you play on your computer will automatically will it'll 
it'll show up on the uh, thing on the OBS. Okay. Yeah, it's like yeah, like someone here saying like plug DJ, but yeah, you, it's basically plug DJ, but without needing extra programs. Wow. All right. Yeah, it has like a lot of cool stuff, and um, once you get more into it, I'll definitely help you out, and um, even um, notification um, just uh, follow uh, notifications and all that other fun stuff. Okay. Yeah, night night bot, and there's like other bots too um, that lets you do cool stuff like that, and. Um, Right now, I'm learning as I go, and yeah, it's fun. Right, okay. I like I like, I like those programs. All right. Oh, shout out to uh, Nine Hundred Nine. That's in the chat. We see you. Shout out. Yeah, to, yeah. Shout out to Tone. Shout out to uh, Unwieldy in the chat. Shout out to anyone else that's uh, um, that's watching. We are testing right now, so that's why things are on the experimental side. Uh, shout out to Warlock Three Hundred and Sixty. And yeah, I'm just testing things out. I'm um, making sure things uh, run well uh, on my computer. Yeah, it still seems that Chrome, Google Chrome, is is uh, like um, it's still acting kinda, up on you. Yeah, kind of the main culprit. Um, think well, and then OBS is not really taking that much. But I, I did notice a lot of times when I am using Google Hangouts is that. The, the the Chrome CPU gets much larger because it you know has to broadcast. But now that yeah, because it uses the Chrome. Yeah. yeah, I guess you're gonna have to start using either um or. Oh no, that's right. And no matter what, you have to use um Google. Damn, I was gonna say use Firefox, but then at that at, at that point, you're gonna have to use Discord. <laughs> you're gonna have to like now mess with it. <laughs> okay. Yeah. With Discord, is there a way for other people to see images on there? No, yeah, that's the problem. I wish it would that would work. Wait, is there a webcam on there? Um, yes, webcam. Uh, here, let me double. Actually, let me double check. Uh, keep talking in the meantime. Uh, I think there was a webcam option. It's just I intentionally have it off. Uh, webcam, webcam, webcam. Because if there's a webcam, I can use the um, use webcam to kind of show you guys um, images and show it to the stream at the same time. Browser app and game overlay. Go ahead. Go ahead and see. <clears throat> Excuse me. Um, I'm trying to see. All right, while you're looking, um, I'm gonna ask the chat. So there's the, the Taipei Game Show that's coming up later this month. Um, what do y'all want to see? What, what do y'all wish to see? What do y'all think may be revealed at the Taipei Game Show for KOF 14? I want to get some of y'all thoughts and opinions on that. Because it's, uh, it's going down around the corner. Um, I know a lot of people are very eager to see more uh, KOF 14 uh, reveals. Um, all right, someone says uh, Nakaruru. Um, Damn, that sucks. No, I guess it doesn't. Discord doesn't. I thought Discord had like something like Skype where you can uh, share a screen or something like that. Basically, the way you're going to do it is uh, you're going to do it the ghetto way where you're going to have to uh, window, uh, window record. Window record? Yeah. Um, in OBS, um, there's a uh, window capture, and you just uh, capture the browser. Right. Yeah, that's what I'm doing that's right, right now. Yeah. But. Um, what? Yeah. What were you going to say? No, yeah, unfortunately, no. I thought Discord, um, man, bummer. I thought Discord would allow the uh, screen share, because that will be the one where at least it will make it easier for you. But no, it doesn't. It doesn't allow screen share, but it no. allows. Um, not, not screen share, but what about webcams? No, it doesn't either. I thought it did too, but I'm looking through the webcam uh, and it doesn't. Okay. There's actually, I, I guess they're still working on it, but yeah, there's no webcam option. I'm like, oh, really? Wow, okay, never mind. It's just specifically chat. Okay. Yeah, never mind. I, I could have swore that Discord was going to be better, but well, 
if they can get the webcam working, then they'll definitely, people will definitely move over. Well, from what I'm hearing, it's, is it still like in a kind of a beta stage or something? Or what, what kind of um, versions are they at? I guess they're still early um, because I never even heard the company either until um, only a few people are telling me, like, yo, you should get the score, man. Like Skype's, you know, this isn't that. And it's just like the only, like, the only reason people will move away from Skype is because uh, Skype tends to be annoying. Um, the program breaks itself sometimes and stuff <laughs> like that uh, helps support. Uh, let me see if I can find it. Yeah, because I think they're early. I never even heard of this company. Right. Okay. Okay. Um, Warlock 360 says uh, maybe some character reveals and maybe since it does continue after Ash Saga, what happened with Idol and uh, Shion. Okay. Yeah, that, that sounds uh, plausible. Because I'm pretty interested in that too. Yeah, that is interesting. The whole um, I still don't even know, like, like, oh, um, this core actually started like this uh, last year. Actually, it just started 2015. I, oh. I knew they they just started. They, they're they're early. Okay, so they're brand new, pretty much. Yeah, they really are brand new. They're more brand new than I expected. That makes sense. The only thing I wonder now, and I know I'm thinking way too far ahead along with the story, is that, so now what? Like, do we now continue with the Orochi uh, seal still broken? Or do we actually now re ignore everything that happened to Ash Saga because he just pretty much wiped himself from existence? <laughs> right. That's like the only thing that bothers me. Are, are they going to pull like a timeliness or time splitness thing? It's all... A lot of games do that. Maybe it'll go back to what happened in... Um... All right. So there was no story in 12. So there was 11, then 13, right? Yeah. So maybe things will kind of... I won't say go back to thir th I mean 11, but they'll kind of continue on and then kind of be go into 13. You, you know, like in a... You ever seen the movie Jumanji? Yeah. <laughs> Oh, okay. That's a good way of putting it, actually. Now, I, yeah, hmm. Yeah, because they were playing a game. You know, the the two kids were playing a game in 1969. Um, one of them got stuck in a the game. Then um, they didn't finish the game. Then, like twenty some years later, they're playing a the game back in 1995. Two other kids, they uh, they play the game. They find it in their like mom's like uh, uh, attic or whatever, and they play. And then they notice, hey, we can't. The, the game's not continuing, but then the uh, the two kids from 1969 has to, you know, play. Finish it now. Yeah, yeah. so they all f play and finish the game, and one of the rules in a game is that when the game is completed, all the things that happen in the game will vanish. You know, all the, you know, because, you know, Jumanji has all the animals and stuff, all the, you know, magic. Oh, wow, you're whether, right. Maybe the story will be like this. Weather elements. So they say once the game is over, everything will go back to normal. So when they finish the game at the end, what happened is everything went back to normal. Like, it wasn't 1995 no more or whatever time. They went right back to 1969. And then, like, one of the kids, hey, what happened to the, the two kids or whatever? They're like, oh, they weren't born yet. And then at the end of the movie, they go back to 1995 and they meet up with the kids, you know, at a party and, you know what I'm saying, um, mm -hmm. at a Christmas party with their parents and stuff like that. And they enter, the parents introduce them, you know, like, yo, here, you know, here's our kids over there. And they're like, oh, man, they're, they're, they are or whatever. They, you know, the, the kids, they don't they don't remember who they are. They don't know who they are. Yeah, like, yeah, it just, yeah. Huh. So, it, so it might, the, the saga might be like that in, in a way, you know. I guess, man, because that's just, that's, it's just, like, unfortunately, I, there's so many games had done this before. That's why it's so weird to me, because I've seen it so familiar. Zelda did it. Oh, um, what game? Um, all of them, because, okay, here's a, there was a funny uh, controversy where um, the, the fans couldn't decide what game goes along which storyline. So then uh, Seguro Miyamoto finally uh, talked to the people and figured out a perfect way to describe each uh, story arc. So now what happens with Zelda is that there's actually a three-way split in time in the story. So now each arc has its own different thing. 
then that way fans don't fight about, you know, which order does the story take place what. Because hmm. there's, because uh, unfortunately games have done this where they'll they'll continue a game then they want to do like a prequel. Okay. And then, but suddenly, you gotta be careful when you do something like that because then if you continue the prequel, now you have to make sure that you're not confusing the the current sequel prequel sequel kind of thing basically you're you're gonna you're gonna confuse the the audience that way right and other games have and zelda's the perfect uh, you know example of this and so it makes me wonder wait now what kind of interesting route would it take with the story now because unfortunately it involved someone erasing themselves in time right that's what that's why it kind of bothers me it's like oh man what uh, unfortunately, you know, you're talking to a guy who's seen a lot of game development and stuff like that, and it's just, unfortunately, it worries me. I shouldn't have to worry too much about it, but it'll it'll bar me a little bit, but not too much. Okay. Uh, I, I kind of hate the I kind of hate the idea of timelines, you know, when something like that happens. But who knows? Maybe they'll do it right. And I'm just being picky. All right, if you're watching, uh, this is episode 63, uh, Dream Council Live. We're testing things here on Twitch, and uh, things are looking good so far. It looks like I might have to do a little bit more uh, tweaking on my side to make sure things run a little smooth. It's my first time kind of doing uh, podcasting uh, on Twitch. So uh, if, if you're watching, just, just let me know how things look um, and how things uh, sound. Because I just tried this out, um, you know, just today, and uh, got a recommendation from James Jr. and Lazy Freddy. Shout out to them to do this on Twitch. Um, oh, let's go to the chat real quick. Uh, oh, let me see, let me see, let me see. Yeah, they're they're just following along what we're we're, we're saying, and um, uh, timeline never happened. Can't web, but how does it answer the question? Of how Keo has stayed twenty years? No plans for webcam. Says uh nine oh nine. Um, well, this is a group thing. I don't think we really need a webcam. Um, if anyone wants to have a webcam, I, I guess, you know, yeah, if you can request it. Yeah. Um, let me see. Uh, this could be like the timeline and Street Fighter. Like That's actually not too hard to set up either because I've seen other people do it, and it's like, oh, okay, I can easily, um, I can tell you the layout, and um, I'll see if I can get into Photoshop a little bit, and I can come up with some sort of a layout thing. All right. Cool. In due time, or I can always add, or I can just pay someone. Um, I, I seen graphic artists that do stuff for cheap, so it's like, eh. Tone said, I uh, want this, the, um, um, the timeline mm -hmm. could be like uh, in Street Fighter, like Alpha series and Street Fighter 3 series, but aren't those like prequels, right? No, um, <laughs> that's that's what I was talking about. Um, I forgot, yeah, that's right. It turns out that um, there's a different order to that. So it turns out that um, uh, how do they do the order? It's not like what you think. You, you think Alpha and then Street and Dark Strike comes after. No, it turns out that no, not after before, like before mm -hmm. Street Fighter Two. Well, yeah, that's what I'm saying. Yeah, oh, okay. Alpha uh, turns out to be that. I thought Alpha was after Street Fighter Two, but apparently no, it's the other way around. And oh 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 wait, let me see. Uh, Warlock says Street Fighter Five is apparently before Dirt Strike. So yeah, so Dirt Strike is pretty much the future. <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> yeah. So now he um that, that yeah that's that's what I was trying to look for because apparently Alpha is way before, Street Fighter Two comes after, then comes um, uh, EX, and then EX? comes. I know, right? I don't know if I should even count that in there, but I, it's part of the storyline. I didn't. The I, didn't EX know, cool. I thought that was just like a like a spinoff or something, you know. No, it turns out it, it it has a story. I thought it didn't either. I thought it had its own storyline. I thought it was like a like a um, it, it's its own separate little universe, like how kind of. Oh man, I might be wrong, Gundam, but like I how could, some but, Gundams are, mm -hmm. how like some Gundam series have like their own like universes. Oh, never mind. Tone's saying, I'm not sure about EX. So, never mind. Okay, I might be wrong there. I thought they did include EX for some reason. I thought okay. I read it somewhere. Okay, yeah, cool. okay. Because it did seem a little weird. I'm like, hmm, yeah. EX. You know, it's not even. Capcom didn't even produce that, right? That was uh, Akira, right? Oh, they didn't program it? <laughs> 
I thought they had programmers from Capcom, you know, program the the you know, the engine and everything else is Akira, like art wise. All I know is they they just published it and just gave them the blessing to use it. Oh shit! I didn't know it was like that. <laughs> oh man, Capcom. Okay, <laughs> that was a ah okay. I, I never heard of a. I, the only thing I heard Akira do is like a few other games, but I didn't know they. I thought they were just like an artist or something. Right. <laughs> um. But yeah, let's go back to KOF real quick. So um. So. How many new characters you think are going to be in the game, man? I mean, we we saw that, and we talked about that list a while ago. You know, the the, the leak list from like last January. <laughs> so, yeah, indeed. So, um, well, how many it seems... how many new characters okay. you think are going to be in there? I want to say anywhere less than ten. I think we're we're already seeing just like two, three new teams. I think, or we're seeing two whole new teams, and. Or heck, maybe we might even have more than ten new characters because the way the, you know, if I'm going off by the list, just by you know, just by you know, you know predicting, um, that's actually like a decent good amount of new characters. I think it's always been that way with previous KOFs. They've always introduced anywhere from three to five new characters. Mm -hmm. Not every, uh, not every game, but it seems like every other game or every saga, we always get like a whole new group. And it looks like it's going to be that way, where we're going to have like either uh, less than, greater, or, or or anywhere between ten new characters. If we were to go off by the list, you know, but to be realistic, I would say like five new characters. They've always been that way. It's always been like a whole new team and like two new characters, and that's without counting the bosses. Like it's not even count those, you know, actual. Actual characters that new characters that happen to just you know stay along the series, I would say like five new characters. Right. Yeah. Okay. Because yeah, I'm, I'm I'm really hoping for just like new characters to the series, man. Just like period. Oh yeah, we're we're, we're you know it seems like it. We're getting those. Okay. So I just, guess um, we just have to mm -hmm. you know wait a little bit until uh, the um, the Taipei Game Show. Oh yeah, when is that? I keep forgetting when the date was. I thought is that February or is that coming up soon? Later this month. Oh, is it this month? Okay, yeah, so I can keep an eye on it. Um, did they list any stream channels? Not that I recall. Um, if anyone Damn. knows, they yeah, can let us know. Share because I, I would really like to uh, you know check that out. Yeah. And yeah, I'm just trying to keep an eye on it, and cause I couldn't see anything. Yeah, Tone's listing the. Yeah, uh, I saw that. Yeah, 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 man. Yeah, yeah, he um he, he threw it out. Um, yeah, China team, maybe uh, Tone Kuru, Kim's master, Kim's wife. I'm hearing some different things about that. Um, and then there's uh, um, all these different kind of descriptions. You know, yeah. Because the, the way the way the 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 leak list, there's a lot of new characters, and I'm like, mm, they can't be that many. And I'll be surprised if they did. And, you know, that'd be great to have that many new characters. We're we're so used to having only like one whole new team and then just one or two new characters, like brand brand new characters. Yeah, like in thirteen, um, how there's mm -hmm. like Psyche and uh, Hua Jai. He, you know, Hua Jai. You know, he was on the first uh, Fatal Fury and Psyche. Um, he, he's never been on any KOF game. Thing. Yeah, anything. Like, that's a whole new one. Right. And that's it, right? Those, are, like, everyone else has just been from other games, pretty much. Yeah, it's always been there. I remember um, Eleven had uh, Momoko and Oswald being two new characters. Oh, and uh, actually, that's how Elizabeth got, you know, introduced. So, there you go. You had, like, almost a whole team. And that's that's always how it's always been. It's always been, like, just one, like, three, like I said, three to five characters has always been, like, new. Like actual new characters per saga, I think I want to say. I don't want to say per game, only per saga. Right. Yeah. Okay. Because uh, 2003, that's how you got introduced to the the quote unquote hero team, which is uh, Ash, Shim, Wu, Du, uh, du Long. Right. And yeah. So definitely, 
But man, if this list turns out to be completely 100% true, it's only like partial true. We're not going to confirm that's, you know, 100%. Oh, right. You know, but man, that's a lot of new characters if they do go buy off this list. Right, right. Uh, yeah, I know, man. Um, and then there's 50 characters, man. So, of course, we're probably going to see a lot of fairly new ones. Yeah, that's pretty ballsy for them to go that much. Even on startup, like even just <laughs> let alone right off the bat. Yeah, yeah, I know. I remember at first I, I thought, oh, maybe I might do like a kind of a DLC thing. Yeah. But yeah, you know that's that's ballsy. I uh, <laughs> I like to see what he got cooking. Yeah. Typically, didn't, yeah. Typically, they never go more than forty. I remember they've always had like an average of forty or thirty some. Right. Right. Yeah. Characters. Right. Right. Hmm. Yeah. Who yeah, knows, man? man. It's, it's going to be interesting, indeed. Um, and, and plus, the uh, the you know, a lot of people are you know kind of wondering about you know net play and stuff like that. Um, you know, I, I mean, I can understand concerns. Uh, Warlock. Um, I don't count uh, uh, UMs because, of course, they're going to have so many. Uh, oh, that uh, is true. Night, yeah, the ultimate yeah, matches. Yeah, yeah, the ultimate, ultimate matches, matches. Yeah, those are the kind of dream matches anyway, especially redone uh, a dream matches. Right. A dream match, yeah. dream match, pretty much. Oh, someone here. Oh, I better mute my mic a little bit. Someone heard the birds. <laughs> oh, no, dude. I like it, dude. It has a kind of a, uh, like, you know, it sounds like relaxing or something dang it you too everyone keeps telling me that <laughs> <laughs> i'm like fine i guess i'll leave it <laughs> that, that's a first i never had no one complain they actually enjoy it i'm like no i don't I'm, I'm surprised i can sleep but man when i gotta record something i gotta wait till morning or during the day so i don't have to constantly uh what do you call it um uh ah it's a it's a future on audacity um uh, no, uh, noise removal. Oh, okay, okay. Yeah. Yeah, dude. I mean, only thing that will complete it if there was like some waves crashing in the background, like the Outrun games. You remember the racing game? Oh yeah. <laughs> and uh, the intro or whatever, you know. Oh man, imagine like imagine if I live in the beach. You know, of course, you guys would hear that a lot too. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. Yeah, yeah, hear waves guess. all the time. That would be dope. Oh man. Well, I'm surprised, but <laughs> that, that's not gonna happen much longer. Maybe I'll record it, you know, just just as a memory. <laughs> <laughs> oh man! Record the ambient noise. <laughs> <laughs> no, man. Yeah, it's no joke though. I, I'm I'm deaf. My backyard is literally a jungle. Oh really? Okay, man. You should yeah, take a it's, picture it's, of it sometime, man, because you know we like to see because you know we hear that uh, you know you say that it. Uh, it's like a like a jungle, or you know. I think I already post. I'll, I'll have to redo it, and or I, actually, no, I do gotta take more photos because I forgot I got his decent camera, and I actually live in a mountain. It's, it's not quite a, a yeah. It's, it's not a huge mountain, but still, like, um, there's like one part of uh, of my area where I can go up and I can actually see like a good a good um a good amount of Puerto Rico. Okay. And let me tell you this, um, the funniest thing about where I live, um, the hills have a 40 degree incline. Oh, really? So I'm, I'm pretty much climbing a good mile worth of a hill just to go to the supermarket. There's my workout for the week. <laughs> <laughs> oh, man, like, yeah, like, I'll show you, like, trust me, you're, you're gonna be like, wow, the view, like, and, I, this, and I'm not even the biggest part of the area either. That's the crazy part. Right. But yeah, I'll tell my friends, man, if you try to come to my house, you would give up halfway up the hill. <laughs> <laughs> Let me tell you that. No, yeah, actually, I will do that. I'll take some photos. Um, Because I forgot there's a good spot where I can take a photo now, and it's going to look beautiful when it does. Word. Cool, man. Um, Speaking of, like, area and location, um, I saw someone playing online. I, I don't know if it was with you, but uh, I, I think the name was, uh, it was a JoJo. Do you know JoJo? Uh, which JoJo? Um, oh, there's a is... few dojos. Um, yeah, my fault. Um, yeah. I thought his name's uh, I'm, I'm not gonna 
give his full name. It's uh, Dominique. Oh. Um. Oh, is it my Joe Job? Is it? Does that have like yeah. a B in it for something? Yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay, yeah. I know. Yeah, we were playing uh, the other day. Uh, oh, what's up okay. With him? okay. Yeah, I saw that he posted a video of, of I believe, you two playing, and I saw the input delay, man. And man, it was up in like the nines and tens, dude. I think um, if 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 he actually, I'm curious. Did he post it my match or the one with his friend? Because now I'm curious. Um, let me find him now. I'm curious. Um, because when we played, yeah, we had like an input delay of like nine to ten. That was he probably says, it. That was probably what I saw, man. Because I was looking, I'm like, oh my gosh, dude! Like, I I could not, I couldn't, I can't stand five frame delay. But he just said, screw it. Well, just like he he knew, you know. Uh, oh, that's but, pure, like, pure struggle <laughs> mode right there. I, I know. I know. <laughs> He didn't care. I'm like, well, fine. I don't care either. We just wanted to play this game, at least a few games. That's all that matters. Um, That's like when when I used to play on Caleria back in the day on oh, it, man. On, on, on AOL 56K. <laughs> oh, man. It was horrible, dude. Like, the ping was like, oh, man, three 400 MS. Yeah. That's... And, and I'm so surprised people even tried to play with me. And it's just like so, like. Oh man, just jittery. Because I think didn't they use rollback or something? They used yeah, something, it, yeah. It, it was it, it was basically GPL, but like a ghetto GPL. That's all it was. Okay, it was yeah. It, it was something weird, man. Because yeah. I remember trying to play, and it's just like it looks like a um, man. It, it, it looks like a, a not a, not a montage, like a, a slideshow, man. Like a oh uh, yeah. <laughs> you know, it, it was just horrible, um, man. Like you can't do anything man and i just couldn't get any kind of games in with anyone so yeah that, that's what it reminded me when i saw y'all playing online it was just like really just really bad it, like we can see the lag you know? yeah no yeah no we saw it we were just like uh we'll just play a few because i guess he really wanted to just play that game with someone because you know like it, it gets boring to play with ai so the desperation was there that's what it was it was just desperation well what area <laughs> does he live in no, I think no, I think something there. There must have been some wetter because um, he's actually um, he's East Coast. He's pretty much East Coast. Okay, because I'm, I'm, I was he's like of... in between East Coast or Midwest somewhere up there. I think um, the wetter was just bad because um, even he was saying that he was playing his other friend who's, who lives even closer, and for some reason the lag was just equally as bad. So I think there, there must have been some bad weather going on. Huh. I never yeah. known the weather to affect the network connection unless like the power lines or something. Unless like it's hitting some sort of um, lines, you know. It it depends. There's some um, people had told me some uh, some companies are so full of crap that any bad weather could affect the internet somehow. It's stupid. That and maybe if he's like playing um, or if he uses some sort of satellite type internet or some sort of like wireless internet. It might affect it. I don't know. There's many factors, yeah. Or 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 someone's watching Netflix and he just he doesn't know it. <laughs> that's 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 the perfect one because Netflix will eat up the bandwidth. So if you're trying to play games and either your parents or your sister is like watching Netflix, ah, <laughs> get wrecked. <laughs> right. It, it was kind of funny. It was still it was we we knew not to take it too seriously because we just wanted to play something and. But yeah, we, we, we try not to play too many at least. We just play like a few. And he was willing to pull up with it. I'm like, okay, fine, we'll keep playing. <laughs> I was waiting for him to say, no, that's enough. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. He, he said, yeah, we'll play two more. I'm like, wow, you brave soul. <laughs> right. Yeah, you, you guys are playing 98 UMFE. Yeah. Now, I'm yeah. surprised we didn't get um, desync because, man, I don't know what's going oh, on. Yeah, like, yeah, the, yeah that's why I was. gets worse than 2002. Oh man, I remember when uh, kind of in, in the beginning, man, before they started patching things, like you know, games were just sinking left and right, but then they tightened things up really yeah. nicely, and things were uh, stop, um, you know, uh, you know, these sinking so much. So I I'm glad that things were um, fixed. Yeah, but unfortunately, it's you can't fix it like all the way. 
So if the connection's that bad, then unfortunately it'll it'll happen. Right. Um, I wanted to know. I mean, cause like, I like doing the the, the Steam battles with KO thirteen. Like, I like doing two K two UM and ninety eight UM FE. The only thing is, is that those two games they don't really get the numbers as thirteen does. Like thirteen, oh man, we can get almost like twenty people in a room at a time, but. The 98 UMFE and the 2002 uh, games, like, they aren't as popular as the, the 13 Steam Battles. And, you know, and, and I kind of feel like sometimes, like, the net play on those other games are a, a little more, you know, they have a, a bit more features. And, you know, maybe they're a little, a little more stronger net play-wise, you know, than, than 13. But, I'm, I mean, I'm trying to... There's many, there's many, um, there's many uh, reasons and many things that vary. It's just that um, we, we, uh, a lot of us try to tell players that you're better off looking for the matches and not just um, going on rank or, or waiting for someone. You have to like talk to someone and plan things out, and people tend to forget to do that. So the reason 13 will be more popular is because one, you do find matches eventually compared to um, 2002 and IAUM. UM. Because those those two games, they're always empty. Trust me. The only way you'll find matches is if you do the Steam battles, and that's about it. <clears throat> that and, um, well, 13 is more pleasing to the eye to players that never played King of Fighters. I've started to see a lot of new play. Like, uh, the other, like, um, I went through, like, a good week of new players, and... It's pretty obvious that um, they they haven't played another King of Fighters, and they prefer thirteen because it's just more pleasing, I guess. Yes, I understand that. Yeah, and this but the, it, the it new game, like factors. a lot of people, uh, or a fair amount of people, are streaming it. You know. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So there's but there's a lot of reasons, man. It's just a uh, uh, thirteen tends to have a, just a slight advantage because. You know, it's it's more pleasing to new players that never play King of Fighters. And even if we convince new players to always play 98 and 2002 because they're like, the, you know, the way to get into King of Fighters, they would much rather play 13 anyways. Or it's like many factors. But I think the fact that if um, if only more players were online 98 and 2002, then more people would give it a try. But I always hear that, man, there's no one online. And it's like you're just not, you know. You're not going to forums or stuff to ask for him. Because sadly, that's how you got to do it. Right. Because, okay. you, yeah, you got you to gotta make sure that online is active because it gives an incentive for players to constantly, okay, I can look for matches online. Right, exactly. Yeah. And that's what it is. It's just that incentive of, um, of activity. That's a yeah. good way of putting it. Yeah, yeah. Because I, I tell people a lot, man. I mean, there are games that have very good net code. And that play features, but the activity is real low. Yeah, I it's unfortunate. It I say it all the time. Like, I mean, and these games are pretty niche, and they have you know very little presence in like the the tournament scene. I mean, I don't I don't know if if like presence in the, in the FGC tournament scene has an effect on you know people playing online, even though some of the people online don't probably go to tournaments that much yeah or or my ever favorite you got purists that don't like to play the un version they rather play the fight k ones right and those have the the rollback <laughs> net play that yeah and they have the most loves. people there oh yeah dude you can hop on and find a match at, at, at any yeah. time you know and, and that's the other issue is that that's another interesting thing it's just that you have a lot of purists that if you if you're gonna look for activity, then unfortunately you're gonna find it in vanilla versions, that's for sure. So like I said, unfortunately a lot of factors, but just a lot that unfortunately doesn't allow um, 98 UM in 2002 to be active. Yeah, man, I remember the first few times we did the Steam battles, like they started off pretty good, and then they just started to kind of trickle down, while 13 started picking up. You yeah. Know? And I mean, I was good to see like people interested in thirteen again, but then seeing the numbers fall in, in ninety eight UMFE in two thousand two, I was like, oh man, like, what's going on? I mean, I'm trying my best to promote these as well as I can, you know, putting them on different um, social media avenues and stuff like that. 
But I, I don't know, man. I mean, maybe I, I still want to try, but maybe like I can hand it to someone else to do those other Steam battles while I, excuse me, while I um, keep doing thirteen. Actually, um, hopefully, because I, I did say I, I do want to stream stuff uh, this uh, for twenty sixteen. I'll let you know, and I'll take care of those too, just because I feel like it. Because I I do stream a lot of KOF, even when I you know before the fuck up and. Right now, I, I can still I can still stream the old school KOF just fine uh, with my laptop. But once I get a new laptop or even fix it, um, I'll I'll take care of those if you want. Um, as long as uh, um, whenever I start working, it doesn't like consume my weekends. I'll be glad to take over, and you can just do thirteen, and I'll do ninety eight in two thousand two, regardless of how many people. Right. What days you think will work? Cause I did I Sunday. Was, I did mm, Sunday like afternoon. Let's keep it that way. And what I'll do is that um, when I stream again, I'm gonna test around and ask people around. If somehow I can generate numbers with my Twitch channel, and then I'll, I'll get curious and I'll ask them. And then I can easily tell you um, in a, in a few months from now, I'll easily tell you if we have to switch a day. But I think Sunday is just fine. Okay. It's just uh, probably your other factor is, um, well, unfortunately, we can't really control, but um, we have to do it on days where there's no big tournaments going on. Yeah, yeah, that's like, true. Like, that's the other struggle is that you want to make sure that, um, unfortunately, even I, I'm guilty. I did the same thing where, I'm sorry, but there was a really, there was a, a KOS stream 13 I wanted to watch, and then I wanted to go to the Steam battle <laughs> whenever yeah. I could. Yeah, that is true. I mean, the thing is, like, at, at first I thought it was okay because, uh, you know, everybody's playing online at a certain time and then Grand Finals is usually later in the afternoon, which is different for different places, you know what I'm saying? Some, yeah, some places and want to have on like, game, unfortunately. Yeah, some people want to have, uh, um, you know, their, um, you know, pools or top three at the time we're doing the Steam Battle, and then that could be, you know, kind of, I don't want to say problematic, but different you know people want to watch it instead of just playing online but i thought like because of that it'll kind of populate the room more and like oh you know everybody's at home trying to watch something but you know it's another distraction so i i i'm I guess somewhat right. yeah somewhat but it, it also works out as long as it ends on time and it's like okay i still got enough time to go to steam battles so actually the way you have a time it's just perfect because unfortunately kof always gets a uh, stream around noon to two we tend to have that time slot for some reason, and except for except for of course the you know the ones that favor KOF will do it like you know nighttime. Right. You actually have the right time slot where th there's still enough time for people to join the Steam battle. That's actually the perfect. That's the middle ground, like right. from two to, uh, two to six. I guess right. is what you got going. Yeah, for at least the the North America side, you know. The, yeah, for the North. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, or I should say uh, our side of the uh, you know the West side of the the Earth, you know. And then um, I, I think in um, over in Europe, isn't that like borderline like evening pretty much? They're basically for I think I want to say four three to four hours unless um, if Warlock can easily answer that question because he's from uh, he's over there. Right. Yeah, like uh, we have like a, a four to five hour difference with Europe. I think that's what I checked. Okay. Like if we were to take East Coast, pretty much, um, uh, for uh, four to five hours. So yeah, you're right. It would be evening, you know, if you were to do that. Uh, hey, Warlock, what's your? Okay, you know, he's 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 catching on. Uh, but what's your time zone, Warlock? Just out of curiosity, it's it's it'll, it'll help us calculate. And that's something I need to get in to get you know start learning is the the time zones. Yeah, me too. Especially now, when it comes to um, a lot of international streams, then I had to like figure stuff out. I remember I stayed up to like three to watch the the whole um, the IGT tournament. <laughs> oh yeah, I'm an idiot. I missed that. Uh, I, I I I got to watch a good amount of it, and then I forgot what the heck I was doing. I got distracted. And, um, then again, I'm weird like that because uh, I'll try to watch the stream, and then I'm like, damn it, I gotta play some games. <laughs> right. I'm so hyped watching this, and I want to play some games, and it's, I had to like get off the stream. Uh, cause I think what, uh, what was I doing? 
there must have been something else that got my attention. For some reason, I stopped watching it. But yeah, someone did post it grand finals on YouTube, but I guess they haven't got the whole other other stuff yet. Oh really? Okay. Yeah. Oh, another thing that surprised me, and I feel stupid because uh, I was watching a, a cooperation cup, the third strike uh, tournament. It turns out uh, Taiwan had a had a special KOF stream going on, and I'm like, damn it! Oh wait, wait, wait! Who was streaming it again? What was the name? Um, oh shoot, that's the because I've know seen it before, was. man. Oh, uh, yo, stream! Anybody know who's? Doing what was that? the name of the channel? I man, forgot I too. Because they did a two K two UM. Stream, they did right? 13 and yeah, they did 13 and uh 2002 UM. And unfortunately, I missed out 13. And I guess I caught Street Fighter 4 in the middle. I'm like, ah, damn it, I missed. It. So I got annoyed. Um, let me see because if if that seems to come, uh, let me click on the game itself. Maybe if I click on the game right here on Twitch, it'll give me the uh. Uh, yeah, more like it's, uh, it's um, 155 a.m. Woo, man. Thank you for uh, <laughs> hanging with us, man. Um, there you go. Yeah, that's definitely a five-hour, well, yeah, six-hour difference, actually. Well, you're central, so that's even more. <laughs> right, it's 654 or 55 um, for me. Yeah, it's, it's, it's almost nine where I'm at because I had the weird Atlantic um, time. Oh, yeah, yeah, you got that water time zone, man. Yeah, for, so yeah. That sounds like it, that, that sounds like a Sonic stage. <laughs> <laughs> Literally. Oh man, Atlantic Zone. Jeez, that's. I, I remember I had people tell me, "No, we have the United States." No, bro, We're way off from the United States to be supposedly uh, Eastern Standard Time. No, we, we're we're different. Right. Exactly. And I can tell because I'll watch the morning news and then um, it'll be like 5 a.m. and I'll watch NBC and it's like, oh, it's uh, early today. And it's like, oh, it's oh, it's oh, it's an hour difference. Right. The only time that doesn't change is uh, daylight savings time because that doesn't exist in um, here in Puerto Rico. Oh, really? So eventually we will share the same time. Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. Yep. Well, yeah, because I think the United States is like the only country that does uh, daylight savings time. No other country does that. I did not know that. Yeah. Hmm. And so even though even though Puerto Rico is U.S. territory, we don't have to go by their uh, you know stuff. That doesn't <laughs> apply to military time either, right? I think not. No, um, that doesn't apply to them. Wow, dude, I, I didn't know that, man. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you definitely don't want to apply daylight savings time to military because, man, you, you guys are all over the world. That's, like, the least of your worries. Yeah, about. exactly. Yeah that, yeah, that that covers everywhere, pretty much. Yeah. No, yeah, like, United States is the only time with daylight savings. And on top of that, there's one state that doesn't do it either. And I forgot which state is it. <laughs> really? What's... They're like, we don't care about that. Nah. <laughs> hmm. I forgot which state it is it, but I know uh, there's a state that doesn't do it either because they don't care. Right. If they don't do it, it doesn't matter, like, because, like, daylight saving time, it keeps just switching back and forth, right? Yeah, exactly. Okay. Because I'm thinking, like, oh, man, this is, like, the time going to keep going ahead or keep going back and things are going to be out of sync. Okay. Mm -hmm. I, di I didn't know that. All right. Well, check this out, man. Uh, oh, just let everybody know. Um, Yeah, this is mm -hmm. episode 63, uh, Dream Council Live. We're just testing things out right now, so you may see the stream act a little weird um so you know what six light i want to what's up i want to preview our new show for next are you week. gonna do it i'm you gonna do it i'm gonna preview it yeah i'm, I'm gonna right, slap it on there I'm gonna, I'm gonna give people a little preview um yeah that's right give them something to come back to you know they're like oh yeah i'll, I'll definitely follow this channel right okay I, i'm gonna do that yeah, we got an audience. You might as well, you know, and, and and they'll help us spread the word. Why not? Okay. Um, the thing is, because of that, we're going to have to probably uh, go off of uh, Hangouts. Yeah, that's fine. If you have to, though. Yeah. All right. So, um, let me 
Let's see. I'm gonna I'm do it in a couple minutes. I'm a couple minutes. I'll okay, yeah, that's fine. Just uh, let me know when you do it, and I'll, I'll still keep an eye on the stream anyway. So I'll yeah, keep watching. And you just gotta hit me up on Twitter or something, or oh, actually on on Steam. And let me know when you're back. For sure. But um, yeah, just let everybody know we we're, we're, we're doing a new show, um, on Dream Cancel. Um, uh, yeah, it's it's yeah. We're gonna do a, a little um preview of it. Uh, it it's gonna be good. Um, Oh, yo, oh come on, dog? dogs! Is that a, oh, uh, no. Why they got ruin it? Damn it. it! It was so fun. It's it's street dogs. There's like a lot of, uh, a lot of people like to have dogs and they just let them loose. Oh yeah, I have. Oh oh really? Oh okay, y'all. Yeah, so, it's it's like that. Okay, just stray dogs, just like chilling. Yep, yeah, stray dogs, and and a group of them sometimes. There's a lot of them in this neighborhood. Oh really? Okay. Yeah, they don't they don't bother to call Animal Patrol, and if they can, or they're bad they're bad owners, and they'll just let them go. Like ah, I can't afford you, just get out of the house. <laughs> oh wow, that's yeah, interesting, that man. Okay, because uh, man, I remember when I was younger, dude. Like dogs would just be like out and about, like yep. so, you know, just randomly, and you know, it, it can get kind of interesting, you know. <laughs> yeah, it, it it can actually. <laughs> okay. All right. Um, let me see things. Everything set up. Um, all right. So we're gonna preview the new show on Dream Cancel, and I, I guess from from the the preview, you're, you're, I think everybody's gonna kind of know what it's gonna be like. So um, let's see. I, I, I kind of want to send out another tweet real quick, just to let everybody know. About this, but, but yeah, the, this this show is gonna be fun. I, I think a lot of people are gonna gonna watch it. Um, yeah, shout outs to everybody in the stream right now. Um, I wanna give another shout out to uh, oh Cheerio, um, Error Four Three, Gen Pets, Tones One Through Three, Unwieldy, uh, Warlock Three Sixty, and and Warlock. That's uh, the good loser, right? Yep, that's him. Yep. Okay. Oh yeah, and uh, error four or four hundred three. I see him in a lot of the. Uh, he, he hangs around with the K uh, the KCL streams, so I think I know who he is. Okay, that sounds cool. That's cool. All right, um, all right. I'm I'm gonna make a tweet real quick. And yeah, big shout outs to um, Dragon One Two Three. US for the frame data document for King of Fighters 2002 unlimited match very very helpful because I've been wanting something like that for a while you know I've been telling him like yo like you know can you translate it for us and uh, you know he finally did it so yeah big eternal shout outs All right, so let me write this uh, on Twitter. Um, hold on, real second. Yeah, thanks for the retweets, everybody. Uh, and uh, yeah, this is our um, test show for uh, the Dream Cancel Live po podcast on Twitch. And yes, that is uh, ambient noise, in case you guys are wondering. <laughs> oh, yeah, yeah, yep. <laughs> Which apparently is popular, so I'll let it go. <laughs> Oh, but I can't wait to move though, because um, I know, I know. I think I already spoke to some people, and they'll be glad to have me come to their homes and set up some couch gaming uh, streams. Oh, really? Yeah. Oh, cool. So I can start some thirteen locals in Orlando. I think there's always been an Orlando scene. It's just I never know where they are. But if they know that I'm streaming, I've got some stuff. I'm sure they'll come. Right. Okay. If you put it, they will come, like they say. Oh, exactly. All right, so, um, all right, everybody, we're going to 
preview the show, the new show. And um, yeah, I think that'll be it for the podcast. You have any shout outs, Six Wet? I have to shout outs to our our fellow viewers for coming by. And shout outs to everyone out there who enjoys uh, campfires. Shout outs to all the forums, Screen Cancel, Orochinagi, um, Reddit KOF that I got running, and any other ones out there. And yeah, that's all I got. All right, great. All right, shout outs on my end. Um... Buy the Dream Cancel t shirts at uh, dreamcancel.com slash shop. Um, the Teespring campaign for Winter Showdown 3 is still happening, so um, go ahead and get a t shirt from them. Shouts to Team Chaos, shouts to Mexic KOF, shouts to um, the King of oh, King of Fighters 2002 uh, Unlimited Match. Get it on Steam. And buy King of Fighters 13 on Steam. And speaking of King of Fighters 13, uh, there is a Steam battle that is going down on the 17th uh, of this month. Um, it was on Sunday, and actually, let me let me see real quick. It should it should be uh, it should be right, but yeah, that is going down. Uh, 2 p.m. Central Time, uh, 3 p.m. Eastern, uh, 12 p.m. Uh, West Coast Time, Pacific Time. So that that should be, um, you know, that should be the times. If you want to know more information, just go on DreamCouncil.com. Uh, Tournaments coming up: Frosty Fostings, uh, January um, 21st, 22nd. Um, that's a Friday and a Saturday, if I'm not mistaken. Going down that same weekend um, in Mexico, uh, there's going to be a first of fifty. So if you're at home, check out the stream. It's going to be at uh, Twitch TV slash uh, PXX Gamers Zapala, and we'll put up the link soon for uh, for people to you know to check out and stuff like that. Um, February uh, Winter Showdown three, um, Drink Has Cup Finals, official sponsor uh, Mad Cats, and in May, uh, Combo Breaker. This is a May 27th, 28th uh, Memorial Day weekend. And yeah, that's uh, that's about it. Uh, thanks everybody for watching and we're going to premiere the show right now on, uh, on this Twitch channel. So just stay tuned and tight. enjoy.
어, 양 선수들의 그 3전 2선수 1경기 1라운드 일단 한국 이정 선수가 기선을 제압했어요. 예, 자 이제 안항 선수가 김갑판에 기용을 했는데 아 그렇군요. 어, 김갑판 잡습니다. 김갑판 한 선수 더 양심이다. 아, 두 밑으로 애를 잡던 게 아닙니다. 아, 아 내려 내려차기인데요. 저것은 중단 판정이 있기 때문에 지금 갑니다. 아, 기본기 판정을 너무 잘 쓰고 있는데요. 어, 김갑판 선수, 아 김갑판 선수 이게 아마 까운데 플레이를 좋군요. 지금 또 깁니다. 아, 좀 뭔가 김갑판을 플레이하면서도 움직임에 군더더기가 전혀 없. 습니다. 아, 아 마무리. 아, 아 중간판에 무릎을 꿇는 한국의 일번 주자 이선영. 아이 선수 원래 표로서 이런 위치에서는 지금 엄청나게 러시를 할수 있는 선수인데 김갑판의 어떤 기본기적인 판정을 너무 잘 쓰는 이 아마카 마나 선수에게 발려 들어가고 있습니다. 아더이 한국 캐릭터의 매니 불구하고 이선영 선수의 컨트롤을 김갑판에 나가자는 이선영 선수. 아이 선수가 지금 캐릭터를 견제를 하고 있는데 아 김갑판. 네. 아, 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 아 여자 얼굴이야. 아, 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 이런 선수 이렇게 되면 기대 진짜 이. 두번 들어가죠. 벗어나야 됩니다. 이선영. 이선영. 아, 코너에서 벗어나야 돼. 이선영 선수. 아 이선영 선수. 아 이선영 선수. 아, 좋은 게 있고 마이는 러시형이 좋은 것이죠. 네. 자 일단은 김갑판 선수. 김갑판은 잘 준비했는데 이선영 선수 KDC로 이제 어, 김갑 어, 하이데이를 싸우겠습니다. 하이데이를 이용한 선수가 1번 대표. 이아마카 어떻게 아 문슬레샤를 지금 같은 경우에 강으로 쓴것 같거든요. 이선영 선수 지금 또 에너지 또 밀리네 이선영 선수. 예. 지금 뭔가 아. 예. 아. 이선영 선수가 약간 지금 위축되어 있는 것 같습니다. 모르는 플레이 패턴에다가 김갑판 한번 생각하는 한 중급 정대 캐릭터에게 당하고 나니까 플레이가 뭔가 좀 말아 날려들어가고 있는 거죠. 아, 이제 아마 또 나오고 있는데요. 어, 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 자, 그리고 모았습니다. 아, 하지는 지금 빠져나왔고. 아, 아, 지금. 아, 지금 시간 너무 많아. 아, 이 선수가 지금 약간 이소를 뛰면서 플레이가 아니라는 것 같은데요. 아, 지금 안방에서 지금 야마카오 선수에게 계속 뒤지고 있어요, 이 선수. 예, 지금 이진주 나왔습니다. 이진주가 하이드를 쉽게 잡아낸다면 이진주 한 방으로 나올 수 있어요. 아, 그렇군요. 이진주가 나와서 일단은 자존심을 회복합니다. 라운드 스페일 때 차이. 이 경기 놓치면 이선영 선수. 아, 이 정도 안 찍어 치는 거예요. 진짜 기술 너무 단체전에서 전치적인 수도 화려한 패턴을 보여주는 김간판에게 아, 한 방으로 나오죠. 자, 육기 때 터졌고. 이재훈 선수는 기계지가 지금 예, 거의 두개다 되니까 되니까요. 네. 차분하게 하, 경기 운영할 필요가 있습니다. 아, 아 기계지 너무 많이 싸우러서 순식간에 에너지로 두개 정도 앞에 있습니다만 기계지 또 터졌고 점수를 조금 조금씩 잃습니다만 그래도 같이 이르면은 아, 우리 이재훈 선수 앞서 있어 유리합니다. 네, 이재훈 선수 아, 한 방으로 아, 아 위험했어요. 아, 그래서 몰렸는데 지금 못 빠져나오면 한방큼 뭘 당할 수가 있거든요. 자, 위에서 벗어나와서 골에서 나와서 이제 거리 두고 다시 했을 것 같죠? 아, 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 아 역습 당했습니다. 아, 진단 킥이요. 아, 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 지금 조금 방어를 차분하게 할 필요가 있어요. 더 뛰어야죠, 더 뛰어야죠. 그렇습니다. 이 정도는 뭐 어떻게 하죠? 중요한 일경기인데 공식전. 자, 1라운드 아, 하이데르가 큐에 대해 이재훈 선수 물론 1경기에서도 이 하이데르를 큐로 잡긴 잡았습니다만 문제는 두 번째 진격판이거든요 아, 역시 하이데르 쉽게 잡아낼 것 같은데요 레드티 네, 바리스까지 아, 15, 쉽게 점, 아, 이거 지금 상대방을 선택해요 아, 홍보였는데요, 왜 실패했죠? 지금 상대편의 체력이 한 35% 정도밖에 남지 않은 상황이에요 예, 하이데르에게 거리를 주면 안 됩니다 네, 아, 야마카 선수 이제 좀 정신을 차렸어요 그렇죠, 긴 리치를 이용해서 손에 몰려있는 이성 선수의 큐를 두드리고 있습니다. 에너지가 비슷해지고 있어요. 또다시 이성 선수. 아, 기계지를 쓰면서 잡혔고요. 이 하이드를 사용하는 이 아마파 선수의 상당히 짠 플레이가 더 보이고 있습니다. 아, 예, 하지만 일단 공중공부에서 한번 밀어 어깨를 밀면서 접고 에너지 많지 않습니다. 아, 그렇죠. 무슨 할거 알았습니다. 네. 이성 선수, 야마카 선수, 하이드를 일단 잡아냈고 게임 스코어 1대 1, 아, 라운드 스코어 1대 1 앞서 나가는 이성 선수. 이제 두 번째 라운드가 시작됩니다. 여기서 김갑판 박 잡아내서 그냥 기대으로 끝냈으면 좋겠네요. 예, 문제가로 김갑판입니다. 아, 선한발 아, 기본 기판은 너무 잘 쓰고 있어요. 아, 우리나라에서 거의 안 쓰는 이 김갑판을 가지고 야마카오 선수가 그림까지 플레이를 만들고 있습니다. 아, 정말 잘하는데요. 이거 네. 초로서 어떤 아, 에너지 없이 아, 내려치기 중단 아, 아, 중단 기본기 내려치기입니다. 아, 거리 상당히 길죠. 일 경기처럼 또다시 김갑판에게 무릎 꿇고 말이 이정 선대 큐. 저 캐슈로 접거든요. 아, 이상한 선수 지도별로 없어요. 에너지도 똑같은 상황에서 골에 몰려서 집니다. 무너지고 있다 이선요. 아, 이선수 이 집이 아, 썸머 비영광 나왔고요. 아, 일단 자 스리트로 아 골에서는 벗어났습니다만은 
이승현 선수 한방 팀으로 맞지 않기 위해서는 확실한 거리 운영이 필요합니다. 아, 이 선수 오늘도 비슷하게 만들어놨습니다. 물론 약간 이승현 선수가 늦을 수 있다면 지공격으로. 아, 지공격, 지공격. 아, 세스를 지금 불렀어야 했는데 왜 하필이면 세스를 부르지 않고 도로를 불렀죠. 아, 한번 하겠는데. 아, 이거 위험합니다. 아, 여기 끝나니까 이승현 선수. 아, 이소정 선수의 패배. 진공한각을 완벽하게 맞았습니다. 자존 이제 승부였어. 단체 전제 이경기에서 믿었던 이소정 선수가 무너지면서 한국 1대0으로 빌립니다.